We're watching a show called Tool Academy. We're in episode four. This show doesn't need a lot of context. It is about 10 dudes who thought they were going to a show called Mr. Awesome to become the coolest guy in America, the most alpha dude. This is filmed back in 2009, by the way. But really, their girlfriend signed them up for a show called Tool Academy to reform them as boyfriends because they all pretty much have cheated on their girlfriends recently and are bad people. So they either reform themselves or they get kicked off for still being a tool. They're just a complete tool. That's pretty much it. But it's an amazing show. And it's filmed in the same house as Claim to Fame. Holy fuck. Is it, is it really? I mean, this is older too. Window up here. Yeah. We're in the same fucking house, which is weird, but I kind of like it. Episode four, baby. Tonight, I'm not a tool. The boys try to learn maturity. <laughs> I have learned what really matters to me, and she's standing right next to me today. But a childish fight leads to a shocking elimination. Matsu Flex. Yes. But your girlfriend is. It all Wait, starts what the fuck? <laughs> they can do that? <laughs> You're not a tool, but your girlfriend is? They can do that? What the hell? All right, let's get into it. Oh, oh fuck. This room's getting crazy. I can't believe it's only down to us, man. This is crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, guys, check it out. Mini me. Mini Matsu. <laughs> Matsu Flex is definitely like my older brother. He hooks me up with clothes here and there. He likes me. What? I like him. And we're sticking together. When the hell did this relationship blossom? That's random, but cool. I'm sure Margaret will come out for breakfast. No, I think she said she wasn't hungry. Really? I think Margot was just kind of over this whole thing. Margot feels that, you know, they don't need this. Margot, do you really want to go home? I, I just yeah, don't think it's yeah. helping. I miss my family a lot. You can go, I'm not. Good for you. To be fair to Margot, this show definitely isn't helping. I'm pretty confident in that. I'm pretty sure every relationship so far going back has been doomed. So yeah, I don't think this show helps at all. That therapist is out to destroy these relationships. I've kind of been up and down about whether or not I should be here and whether or not Mega should personally be here. We've kind of run over our course at the Tool Academy. Therapy will never be comfortable completely because I've had traumatic experiences in there. I'm Sean's girlfriend of six years. Yeah, true, true, dude. Therapy is usually where you address trauma, and this dude's having traumatic experiences in therapy. <laughs> in therapy, they bring his ex-girlfriend, or they bring his current girlfriend, he's got two girlfriends, they do a reveal that he's dating both of them with an entire room of people and cameras. Could be a very traumatic situation, and that was in therapy. <laughs> this show is out to ruin them, absolutely. Traumatized yeah, by the consequences of his actions. Fair, football. but still. So I'm glad to see all of you here. This week's lesson is in maturity and growth. Okay. Obviously, I do need to work on being more mature. <laughs> I run around farting all the time and laughing and doing That's really fine. That's chill. Um, I define maturity as... <laughs> that I can't marry a bowling ball, but I can marry my fiance. This guy is so fucking weird. I was a kid in 2009, allegedly. With this bowling person stereotype, I just have not met. It's a strange person. It's impossible to grow together if one partner remains a child. So before you came to the Academy, we wanted to get a sense of your life's ambition. So we asked for your five-year plan. Let's review those goals now. Given a second chance, perhaps some of you will want to rethink your ambitions. So let's start with the Matsu Flex. <laughs> okay. Solid. I want to get more experienced in the realm of sex. Me and you both, brother. It's a solid start. Like, let's have a phone party <laughs> with like three bunnies. With like three bunnies, right? Keep it ambiguous. It's all about, you know, Matsu Flex and this character that has happened since he was young. But at 25 and in a serious relationship, it's like, okay, Ryan, like you're immature, you need to grow up. That's obviously not what I'm thinking now, what my five-year plan is gonna be. I can't believe the things I said. Like, I was embarrassed. It's time for me to show Jenna that I can be a mature adult. <sighs> Character? No, that's Matsu Flex. I plan on having some crazy sex with girls that my girl could be incorporated. Dude, this is the one that's saying she doesn't need to be on the show. Like, they got it all figured out. <laughs> It really is great that they include their model shots of them naked behind these lines. Awesome. That was a complete shock to me. I was like, my best friend is basically saying, like, I'm just some hoe. I would have never guessed that he would have even said that. Josh. Got that hair. Say? I want a Lamborghini door with Lambo doors. 
<laughs> That's insightful as fuck. I love that. I feel like that has more meaning to it than I even realize. I want the Lamborghini with the Lamborghini doors. It's the, it's the, <laughs> I, I, fucking, I, I got confused. I wasn't included whatsoever. I want a Lamborghini well, door with Lambo the doors. The cars go up and down when you... Why are you mad about Google? that? <laughs> I'd like to further my relationship with Kareen and make something work instead of just what we have going on right now. Surprising W from that guy. I never saw that one coming. The guy who flipped girls. <laughs> Whoa. He's wow. Name. Not just a girl. He, he used my name. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he used my Whoa. name. He never uses my name in reference to me in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things, like calling them by their name. They'll love that. Oh, I, I hate being in a long distance relationship, and I, I don't know, I'd like to live together. Kareen jumped on board with my five year plan. I guess she realized how much she meant to me. I know we're all dying to hear what Sean has to say. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I want to own a couple million dollar homes, a bunch of really nice cars, a yacht, and be kind of set for life. So these Facts. are things that are obviously fake or materialistic. Okay, I can see through your bullshit, Sean. Come on, yeah, come on, man. You're gonna immediately 180 on that one? Own it a little bit, all right? You do want those things. You're playing it up, man. Obviously, I don't want those fake things when the real thing is right here. Come on, babe. It's not that he's fake, but he just thinks he needs to be more than who he is. Tommy, okay. you're next. Yep. Oh, I'd like to have a child. Oh shit. Yes, definitely. Are you freaking serious? Like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> like, I have two children. I don't need a third. How about a job? A real job? Do you not have a job? Oh, baby. <laughs> if you get a job. What the fuck, babe? I'm on a reality now show. Like I'm literally to working is right go now. Off work on a new five year plan, one that is for the two of you. Coming together on a five year plan is often difficult for couples at first. I hope the men in particular take a mature approach to this exercise. I would love to see you go to school. I'd be so proud school. of you go to school. I would have to go to uh, business school. What's my five year plan? Be a bowling champion <laughs> and defeat my enemies on and off the fucking court. Bowl a perfect 300, obviously. If Josh wants to go back to school. It's good to see his ambition extends beyond a fancy car. I think it would be really, really cool to, to get into some kind of biology. Like the marine biology. The occupation thing was tough for Biology, like the marine sports. kind. And he's always wanted to be a marine biologist, apparently, so like, Sports management would be really cool. Be like an agent, sports entertainment. Maybe sports like marine center, biology sports, sports, sports agent. Why don't you be like a high school basketball coach or something? You can move up to like be a college like coach. Sports center would be cool, you know. Crystal would be wants chill. Tommy to focus on a career, but he doesn't seem to have a clue what he Most wants to chill do. career conversation I've ever heard. I'm married to you in five years. A word, you know, I love it. I love it, but it's scary. It's scary. No. Mega and Margot seem to be having some difficulty on the topic of marriage. Why is that to be so big? <laughs> Did he say get married in five years? I want to be married. Hopefully it's to my girl. But she's not even thinking about marriage with me right now. Hopefully it's not to early. my girl. Okay, so he just kind of wants marriage in general. It doesn't have to be her. Okay, so I'd like to go to Josh. With the week's lesson focused on maturity, the couple's constructed a five-year plan for their lives together. And by and large, I'm finding their efforts quite Bowling and to also go to the to art school. And he's finally putting his bowling hobby in perspective. As far as the professional bowling goes, if I can't get that far and I can't accomplish that, I have a fallback, which will be owning my own business. And that business is a bowling alley. Sean rejected his material obsessions. I figure if it's not, if it, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I make incredible money. Um, but the problem with me is that sometimes I invest in things that um, I lose a lot of money in. So I'm gonna be more smart with my money. And Robert and Kareen are agreeing on a timeline for moving in together. Dude, Seriously this not. guy, the way he looks is just always wants to kill something. Does this not look like he's just looking at like an ant on the floor, like a ladybug or something that he just wants to smash? And like he, he's trying to like hold it together, like fuck, focus, five year, five year goal, kill, kill, fuck. I want to fucking smash it. Yeah, I never wanted to have kids with any of the other girls I've ever dated, so I just always figured I didn't want to have kids, you know, but... So this was a, this was one of your new discussions. Mm -hmm. So this was Definitely. quite breaking new ground. So we just decided to have kids 
now. That seems mature that they just decided right now. I was definitely a tool. Um, crossing Four boys, the but three bag. boys, one girl. However, after coming to the Tool Academy, I have learned who I really am and what really matters to me. And she's standing right next to me today. Jenna, I love you to death. I love you too. And you are amazing, and I'm glad you're in my life. You've worked hard on this and made quite a breakthrough, haven't you? I see through it. I see through you, Matsu Flex. You're just trying to win that bag. You're a smooth talker, not genuine. I don't believe it, Matsu. I hope to be proved wrong. But I am finding some couples' issues troubling. Tommy's heart is in the right place. I had grown up and I never had a father. I want to be that male role model, you know, for her, ch her children and be that father figure and, uh, of course, have a child of her own. And I'm happy to see that he's agreeing to get a job. Could do, like okay. he's in the sports, like maybe sports management, something like that. But good intentions aside, Tommy still seems to lack ambition. Um, I don't have to be a brain si a, you know, a brain surgeon. He's going to find a good career. Yes, yes. <laughs> that keeps you on track. Good. I wonder how old he is, because I feel like he should have some idea outside of the show of, like, anything. <laughs> Margot and Mega seem to have radically different ideas about where they want to take their relationship. Usually it's men who are like, ooh, marriage. And it's like, it's at our relationship. And he was like, okay, marriage. And he's starting to write or like, you know, on our thing. And I'm like, ooh, M word, M word, M word. So you put the brakes on. It's all together. M word. Just yeah. to clarify for chat like before any of you guys go crazy, crazy as you do. I just don't want to rush. I love myself too much to rush. Megan and Margo are just best friends. It's lovely to see you working together. Maturity is about looking outside of ourselves and considering the desires and needs of those we love. That's the foundation of a mature relationship. Okay. I feel like, no yes. Now put them through random challenges that make no sense. Fuck a five-year plan. Fuck talking communication. Can they build a tree hut together blindfolded? Let's find out. Or whatever the hell this is. Welcome everybody to the maturity challenge. Yeah! In therapy, you guys work together and you listed your hopes and your goals for the future. Many of those dreams we're materialistic, but part of maturity is realizing all you really need is each other and the basics to survive. So today, you guys are gonna have to work for food, shelter, and water. Cause that's Caveman mature. <laughs> nice. There are three stages, and you must complete each stage before moving on to the next one. As a couple, you guys are gonna have to kill a Macedon for food. You're ch he said it so fast, I can't even register how this has anything to do with maturity. <laughs> I know he said it, but it just went one ear out the other. You're gonna have to kill a Macedon for food, like cavemen, okay. Challenge is to throw a spear and topple the Macedon. <laughs> Only then can you move on to the water challenge. As a couple, you will need to collect water from the rainforest using a banana leaf or a coconut to fill up your container. When you've filled your container to the red line, maturity, you'll work maturity, to build right. a shelter. Using the boulders, you must build three walls, then place the roof on top. The first team to complete all three wins. These are like gate. three separate hard challenges. You gotta throw a spear fucking 30 yards to hit a mastodon. Then you gotta collect water with a leaf. Then you gotta build a rock fort. That's a lot of challenges for one challenge, but you know, maturity, so. Please take your spaces. For this challenge, I'll be looking at how the couples work together in a mature manner to achieve their goals, even in a silly situation. This just can't be a real therapist, man. Every single episode, I'll say it. There's no way you have studied some course that teaches you on how you're gonna review the footage you're about to watch. I just don't believe it. Ready? Did he throw that spear at the Macedon in a mature way? Oh, she's handing it to him pretty nicely. Oh. Go get this other spear, and I'm like, ah, I throw it, and it goes and hits it. Come on, babe. Ah! And I was the first one to kill the animal. Food's mine. <laughs> Coca, you're the biggest. I didn't know Tommy could hunt. Maybe that's a job he can pick. You know, can you be like a hunter? <laughs> get the spear. I'm throwing it over and over again. After about six throws, down she goes. There you go, dude. I thought you had to the center, not just knock it down. It's like a center thing they're supposed to hit, right? You just gotta do both, hit the center and knock it down, whatever. I don't know why I'm annoyed with the specifics, but I am. I was not a good spear thrower. I end up starting to tomahawk throw them, and with sheer force, the mass sound was not going down, no matter what I did. so good at axe throwing, dude. If you run out of spears, move on to the water stage. 
I love this excellent places. And we have to run over to the water pit. We have to get a coconut and a leaf and fill up a big old bucket of water. And the first one to the red line wins. Me and Tommy were neck and neck. I'm thinking in my mind the best way for me to beat him is going to be speed. Or cheating. I knew how to strategically gather that water and that leaf because you know what? The Matsu Flex is thirsty, and when he's thirsty, he's going to gather up some water. Nice. You're related to yourself, Matsu. Oh, done. Tommy, good. Yeah. We fell right, now go build your rock fort. Great, babe, let's go build this freaking cave and let's go in. Okay, holy shit. Okay, those are clearly styrofoam, or Tommy is apparently a fucking Hulk. That was too easy. Struggling to find a job. Dude, just be a fucking strong man. What are you doing? Maybe I'm done. Maybe I can't I'm trying do to it. help. I can't what? Breathe, You're done? Oh, baby, please, I can't breathe. Big fucking baby. You little baby. Water's in your eyes. Okay, I get it. She's gonna be the tool girlfriend. She's kind of being a little tool right now. I am totally out of shape. And when out of shape's one thing. Back and forth, I was kind of losing my breath. Okay, maybe that's one thing. All right. Josh, normally. I thought she was like, talking oh, about the water it, in her problem? eyes. Obviously, I can't do this. Like, duh. <laughs> It's like no one else mattered. He didn't care about getting to the finish line. He's like, let's get you some water. Let's stop so you can breathe. Uh, May I propose a middle ground? The water was dripping above you. You could have just go. Oh, you got it. You keep going. I'll give me a second. I don't want that clipped of me just looking up like that. But, you know, just saying if they were smart, there's an easy way to fix both their problems here. It's good to see Josh standing by her side and supporting her. But they're losing! At what cost? The last part of our challenge was to build a cave. Building the cave, you have to have a three-sided wall. I don't think I could be in a relationship with somebody that gives up like that. It was neck and neck. It was mega. Put it right here, sideways. Where the Matsu flex. Go, you're good, you're good. We're good on the back, we're good on the back. And Tommy. Come on, baby, we got it, come on. And we all came down the wire. No, 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 right. Right here, right here, right here. Okay. Back, Two, the back. Three, back, go to the back! One, Winner. 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 I don't know what the rules are on how to build this cave or whatever, but I feel like I could build it so fast. I feel like with these teams, we're using way too many rocks. I could All right, build everybody. A cave. I could build a cave. And once again, how are you not a tool if you can build a cave? This guy is clearly a good boyfriend. He built that cave. Winners of the maturity <laughs> challenge. Nice job, guys. Mega and Margo did win the maturity challenge. But I feel right now that Mega is best friends with his girlfriend Margo. And check it out, they're hustlers and they want to win the 100 grand. What was Matsu's oh, theory there? Matsu thinks that they're not actually together, they're just best friends that just want to win the 100 grand now? A special mixer together, and tomorrow night, I'll see you all at the elimination. After we won the day, I was ecstatic. Can't wait to see my baby. Can't wait to see her smile on the face. Man, have a good one, guys. Yes, yeah. sir. Congratulations. Since the beginning of this thing, I've realized that Mega does not show affection to his girlfriend. Tommy and Matsu Flex took my side. So there is like a whole kind of conspiracy theory brewing amongst the other guys that they're not actually like romantically interested in each other. Interesting. Mega and Margo are faking their relationship. Maybe a picnic? Oh, well, faking it. Deserve. Horse and carriage ride for best friends. Margo and Mega. Hey, have fun on your one-on-one -on -one not relationship date, man. You know, like. So I don't think that they're gonna get married. I don't think that they have any intentions to get married. I don't even think they're boyfriend and girlfriend. I think that they're just friends. They're not boyfriend Damn, and girlfriend. Damn, we got the conspiracy theorists. Well, let's see. Will they kiss? I got a nice little setup right here. Are they scamming us? Is it? Is it very megalicious? Oh yeah, it's, ve <laughs> it's very mega stuff. Oh my god, I don't even. I miss know. seeing Margo. I miss the relationship that we have, the person that makes me smile, the person that really. Maybe makes we are me getting play. played. With almost sincerity, regard, I gotta say that. I respect you. Fuck on camera right now. Prove you're not best friends. Release your cum load. Prove it. I don't believe it. I'm not buying it. Love you. Better. Shut up. <laughs> you can never be serious for one second. I know. I'm, I can't. I'm happy. Okay, okay. I'm I'll be serious. I'm, I'm happy you're in my life. <laughs> yeah, we're faking this shit. I am, I am. But I see a future with you. Watching this date, it feels like Mar- Uh-oh. Um, fake alert going off here. Sounds like she can't keep it together. Are we getting scammed? The showrunner's getting scammed? Let's have a romantic moment. I am, I am. But I see a future with you. <laughs> Watching this date, it feels like Margot's the one with the maturity problem. 
Maker is pouring his heart out, and she's not taking him seriously. It's hurtful when someone refuses to return your love. Okay, 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 okay. No, for real. I'm being honest. Straight up. She is going to be the real tool. One okay. of the girls going to be the real tool. It's going to be her. I love you. I'll be serious. I got frustrated with Marco. She's so used to that friend factor that she began laughing. You know, us being together, us being best kids. friends, us having kids at some point in time, you know? <laughs> Despite Maker's obvious desire to discuss their future, just laughing in his face. Just laughing in his face. I'll do whatever it takes on my end as a man. I feel like I'm carrying more. Okay, of the dude, boat. she's really letting it go a little too much. I mean, saying I love you to a girl and then laughing at you. <laughs> sure, I want kids. <laughs> right, as a man. <laughs> Come on, he's goddamn mega, dude. Show some respect. Even though he's slept with 14 girls on every single weekday, show him some respect. You're smoking me out over here, bro. And, and I'm not talking about it in a good way. <laughs> Later on, when we went downstairs, we had all this barbecue stuff laid out. There was all kinds of meats prepared and stuff like that. It was very, very nice setup. Oh, the boy! Hey, what Hi, up, guys. y'all? What's up, girls? Looking fine as a <laughs> m <laughs> You're I've been drinking, but hey, it's good times. You know what I'm saying? Party like a Matsu. That's what I always say. Party like a Matsu, baby. Okay, so is this is a party a or and then we just start a doing impersonations of each other. Party. <laughs> just want to say that. I'm trying to put my ring on my girl's oh. finger. Doesn't even look good. I wasn't expecting Tommy to come up and do something like that. It was, it was pretty funny. I gotta give him that. I know I'm on too, but... <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Tommy was a little out of control uh, last night, dare I say. He put these shoes on his knees that made him look tinier. Guy's gotta fucking be controlled. He's gotta be put on a leash. Hey, 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 hey. everybody. Yeah, replay that at three boing sound effects. Kung Fu Hero. Yeah, I guess that's cool. Hero. Naming your dick with a tattoo right above it. What do we think about that? Do we think that's cool? I think it could be. I think with the right name, I think Kung Fu Hero is kind of lame. I think with the right name, it could be cool. It's like the opposite of a tram stamp. See you soon. Be good, sleep well. After that, that was a wrap. We had to say our goodbyes. So after the barbecue, all the guys come inside and we wanted to confront Mega about the fact that we think that he's completely fake. Here we go, relationship please. With Yo, Mega, did, did, did say it with me, Doug. What's that? I start trying to confront him. I literally think that you and your girl are just best friends and you haven't ever broke the barrier and you've never had sex. Oh, shit. I also think that you're here to hustle $100,000. I'm just being real. I get approached by Sean questioning my relationship. Here we go. And I sell more cookies than your mom. Whoa, whoa, too far. Holy shit, fucking too far, bro. Keep my mom out of this. And you don't show affection to your girl like Are all the serious? rest of us show affection to our girls. Like, dude, dude, I'm not the only one who believes that. Mega is faking his relationship. Really? I love what's on my heart. Okay, let's be men. Let's talk about it. Tonight, let's make sure that we all sit down and have a meeting because obviously there's been some actual relations. Against my relationship with my girl, and I don't want to have any kind of conversation behind my back. We can clear everything out. Let's clear it up. Let's do it. All right. What's his defense? F that. Shit. You want to f call me out? Yeah. Make it called us out. What? Ah, uh, dude, what are we talking about? He called you guys out? You guys called him out. He came in and said, let's talk about it. Uh, it's not really calling you out. I don't know why he's so pissed. Booze hit him. Yeah, why so is he, he mad? Off. <laughs> that motherfucker answered our accusations? What the fuck? That guy said he will address the things we've been saying behind his back? Fuck. Fuck. Fuck that guy. Shit. He's answering us. Anyone wants to call me out, call me out right now. <laughs> This apple! <laughs> Matthew, that was my apple, bro. Right. Ah, apple! Ah, <laughs> banana! Orange! Ah, I say the things I throw as I throw them. Don't ever step in, in front of me and tell me that you need to talk to me in an offensive manner in a defensive way as well. Bro, is he oh, drunk geez, in the I'm behind the, the camera yeah, thing too? In the green room? Balls. No, no. Fuck that. I'll stand right now! Right now! Oh, water! Monster Flex turned into like the green Incredible Hawk. And 
This is Opposed to the blue one. Sorry, I had to get that quick joke in there. I just sat back, kicked back, and just let them bitch away. Call me out! What is happening? Don't call me out. <laughs> this is maturity, bro. This week is maturity. Listen, dude. Don't ever push me, dude. This bullshit. I don't even believe it. It's needlessly angry. Hey, attention table, dude, dude, right here. Matsu Flex about to super flex I my like mega. I are men enough to actually talk through no doubt. what the rest of everybody in the group does. Oh, let him finish, Josh. Let him finish. 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 Dude, I mean, I get he's drunk or whatever, but it really is like somebody told him to act just angry at everything. <laughs> it's played up so much. Masu Flex is drunk. Ah! But listen, every one of us are here for our girl girlfriends. We're cuddling, we're kissing, we're making out. And it's we're like doing all that, 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 time that stuff. Yeah, Dude, like we have girlfriends, like we're hugging, we're kissing, we're, you know, I'm putting stuff and other stuff. Like we're doing all that stuff. Like I'm touching, we're touching each other. And like, you're just not doing that. We want you to touch her. Touch your girl, dude. Not only is she my best friend, but she's the love of my life. And I see a future with her. I do not need to express or prove anything to any of you guys. If that's what you guys need or what you want, then try to find fulfillment in your own relationships, not mine. You know what? Don't lie to me. Stop here for my self, dude. The cameras, the cameras, dude. I'm here for myself. Yo, who the fucking Flex, he's a character, dude. He is the Green Incredible Hulk. He's all over the place, man. Matsu Flex has to be on the shopping block now. Matsu Flex was twisted. Home, homie was big, off his mind. And I get approached by Sean talking reckless and questioning my relationship with my girl. You guys don't even live together, dude. Dude, my girl and I lived together for six years. Oh, yeah, you were cheating on your girl? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> That's what I was going to say, dude. Like, he had the worst cheating story of anyone on the show. How are you going to lecture me? You were cheating on the girl you were living with for six years with another girl who brought you on the show. You sure you want to talk about that? <laughs> Get the f out of here. Bro. Actually, you I wasn't. Cast, actually, actually, I wasn't cheating on her, dude. Cast. Nice try. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Hey, hey, nice way to look at things. You look like your teeth. You, bro. He's angry like a child. God damn, dude. Himself. I had to be the bigger man in that situation. Wait, you're going to bed? You're going to bed, dog? Okay, cool, dude. Hey, just walk away from the situation like you always do, bro. If I feel like Mega is stepping towards me, I'm gonna f him up. And that's it. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling for Mega now. This is so fucked up. Matsu Flex and Sean just unreasonably angry at him. It seems to me that Mega's in a relationship where he did just come on the show as like, she's just another girl. Cause he says he fucks all the time. So I think she's just like another friend of his that like maybe he has sex with. I don't think they really are that much in, but maybe he's trying, I don't know. God, that reminds me of summer camp. I'm sticking proper, dude, to the fact that they are not in a relationship, dude. They're in a friendship, and that's it. Come on, at breakfast, eat first. This reminds me of some midday TV drama type. Some grown ass man, bro. I think we're all men enough to not actually throw blows and get in an actual fight. Bro, <laughs> that's all you do. You're the only one here that does that. What are you fucking talking about? Um, there's just a lot of tension in the room. Wonder who's creating that. It's time for your first class. Head upstairs, get dressed in your uniforms, we'll see you in the classroom. After breakfast, the loudspeaker announces to us that we have to go up to our room and get ready for class. I hate school. I think school sucks. All right. Some corny ass. That guy hates putting on anything. They got uh, collared shirts, baby blue vest. Oh, no, he's right, though. This is some corny ass shit, bro. Morning, guys. Please take a seat with a folder in front of it. Any empty seat with a folder in front of it, please have a seat. All right. So, gentlemen, welcome to your first class activity. Gleeks sure rise. Ah, oh, fucking get them out of chat. Bully them out of chat. I don't want any fucking Glee fans in this chat. That's awful. Mm, get the fuck out of here. You know the teacher was a creep, right? The teacher was a fucking creep. Dude, that guy just wanted to fuck all of his students. Come crashing through your door. Baby, I can't fight this feeling anymore. What I did then was the blackest moment of my life. 
Today, you're gonna take part in the Tool Academy Glee Club. The Glee Club is a really weird club to be in. I'm not a creep. Not something I'd normally You can just throw it back my way. This is your opportunity to show your pride in your school and in your progress and learn your school song. To help you guys, I'd like to introduce you to our resident Academy Glee Club instructor. Do we have someone from Glee? Corey. Is that guy from Glee? I don't even know. Is he? David Corey is a professional vocal coach. No, he doesn't look like it. Renowned, and he's teaching us six guys how to sing together our Academy song. Does it help you to go in the God, end? If I was in the show, you know I'd fucking belt tool. my angelic I voice. On that? It kind of like scratches. Oh, terminology! I'm just here to have a good time. And, Why are you sassy? You know, to show Ida how much I love her, so I definitely want to stick out and be the best singer in the class. Two. I feel like I could sing better than everybody else. I'm not a tool. Tell me. I'm, I'm not, not a tool. tool. In the end, I hope I'm not just a tool. In the end, I hope They're not I'm singing. Not just They're just tool. talking. Sing it like that, damn it. You know, he was like cracking a whip on us. Like he was grabbing our nuts and he would not let go. Who's not a tool? <laughs> I'm not a tool. That escalated. <laughs> like he was doming over us. Exercise with Professor David definitely brought all of us in the room, in the house together more as a team. God, they were really fucking trying to plug Glee back then, huh? My girl through all my days by this is nothing but a Brandon Gratian. I mean, there's no other reason for this. My fairest tool academy. No women are not a commodity. Oh, what a bar. <laughs> women are not a commodity. Oh, this is so fucking corny, dude. This did come out before Glee, so this is just them doing this, okay? I want to see someone fight. Throw a punch. This isn't you. This isn't any of you. Magnificent. That's the first time I've seen that guy smile, though. <laughs> All right, let's see who's getting kicked off, baby. I'm ready for it. Reviewing the cases, I feel there's more at stake than who <laughs> passed or failed the maturity Bowling lesson. Pictures elite. This is the most difficult decision I've had to make yet at the academy. I think that they might evaluate all the drama that that's um, that's happened. Remember, did you, you think? Oh, you think? How about Matsu Flex flipping his lip? Matsu <laughs> Flex flip, dude. Right now, dude. Yo, yo. Going into elimination night, I am nervous. <laughs> I mean, realistically, how could it not be Matsu Flex? They would have to love Matsu Flex so much to stay on the show for it to not be him. The weak theme was maturity, clearly not mature. I got uh, a little bit too passionate about my feelings for Jenna. You can never be too passionate about your feelings. Wait, for Jenna? I love her to death, and I don't want anybody to, to take that love and feeling away. <laughs> Put a hole in the wall. I'm I love how they that. twist everything, dude. They twist everything to be in the, the loving sense. This was for Jenna. Jenna never even came up, but that's one way to rewrite history. This was all for Jenna. Welcome back to Illumination, gentlemen. Enjoy. Once again, your cases have all been reviewed and a decision has been made. Those who've passed this week's lesson will receive a maturity merit badge. But I know there's only six five, and there's six badges. of you. One so of you lame. <laughs> will be expelled tonight. Six of you, and only five badges. Five Did you notice? Josh, please step forward. In my heart. <laughs> but I'd like to commend you for staying by Ashley's side. That was a true example of maturity. Thank you very much, Jenna. Josh, please step forward and receive your maturity tool badge. Nice. Robert, please step forward. Dude, we're gonna lose a hothead this week. Robert. You showed real maturity by communicating your feelings to Corrine and working out a plan to live your lives together. Congratulations, Robert. You've passed the maturity course. Nice. All right, I'll give the next Tommy, one to Tommy. Forward. Yep, okay. Tommy, in the challenge, you and Krista worked really well as a team, but I was really impressed with how level-headed and mature you were. And how much water you could carry in that leaf. Your, you still need to get a job and sort out your future. <laughs> Whoa, therapist lady. That was a bit intense, all right? Come down. You're not his mom. <laughs> you still need to get a job, you lazy piece of shit. But besides that, yeah, I guess you were pretty mature this week. God Tommy, damn. You, passed the <laughs> you still need course. to get a job. <laughs>
But you got your maturity badge. Mod All right, it's going to be Megan next. Please step forward. <gasps> Mod flex? No shot. You got drunk. You made an ass of yourself last night in the house. I should expel you this instant. But you've expressed a real desire. Dude, why did she say that like a Hogwarts professor? I'm sorry. I know it's just the accent, but she said that. I should expel you this instant, Hermione Granger. You've passed the maturity course. I don't know how he passed. Barely. This is crazy. There's only one tool badge remaining. Oh, fuck. Sean? Mega. All right, we're losing Sean. Poll. All right, now we'll do the poll for you little bitches. Start poll. Sean or Mega? We think Mega is going home? What did Mega do? Has to be Sean. But Sean's story still hasn't been wrapped nicely, and he's been making so much growth. All right, we're going Mega. One of you will be expelled and leave the Academy immediately. I want to see Sean, a.k.a. the Pelican. <laughs> Leave the academy. Okay. I deserve to stay because I've been working very hard to make up um, for bad. Is it weird that his haircut's growing on me? Because, it's unique, you know. Um, it's peacocking. It was immature to um, get in a fight, and sometimes I say some immature things and I egg people on. Nice final words to try to Mega. save yourself. Why do you think you're standing here? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, bad move, Mega. Sean, when you're around Ida, she seems to bring out the best in you. And during therapy, you showed progress by putting material things aside to better your relationship with her. But when you're around the guys, you have moments of real immaturity. This show isn't about that, it's about your relationship. Sean's staying. Mega, you're perhaps the most mature guy here. In fact, you wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for Margot. But I'm not sure Margot wants to be here. Okay, well, that has nothing to... This week, I began to... <laughs> okay, so this has nothing to do with maturity, then. It just has to be with what couple is still compatible right now. It has nothing to do with maturity. He was the most mature this week, for sure. Did the rumors work so well that it spread to fucking therapist lady, where she's like, yeah, I just don't think you guys are together either. <laughs> yeah, I'm on their side, actually. I wish Matsuplex beat the fuck out of you, actually, the other night. I was ruined for him. The Tool Academy's here to help reform men. But in this case, I think the problem isn't you, Mega. It's Margot. Bring her in. We have a tool girl. It's very immature of you to pick a fight with Mega. But at least you have a girlfriend who wants to grow with you. So there's hope for you here at the Academy. Sean, you pass the maturity course. Sean, please step forward and accept your maturity tool badge. I forgot the clip that we had in the beginning, which did say one of your girlfriends is a tool. Jordan, Remembering that now, it should have been so obvious it was Mega. I'm so gone because I feel like him and I were both the two dominant males in the place. Now Mega's <laughs> gone, I'm the big dog now. There can only be one alpha male, baby. You can't have two alphas in one house. We all know the rules. There's only can be one, so thank God. Now I'm gonna fucking Stop. ruin these men. Now there's no one to be in my way. They're fucked. All right. Now I can be super immature. Not that much of a tool. Oh. But your girlfriend is. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. <laughs> your girlfriend is waiting but for you But your girlfriend outside. is. You're not that much of a tool, but your girlfriend is. <laughs> what a bar. How's this conversation going to go? Is he going to reject her? Her inaccurate professional opinion feels that Margot is the one that's holding me back, which I know is absolutely not true. Okay. I'm going to walk out of here proud. We're going to go home together. Unless she says no to you. I thought it was a huge surprise that Mega walked out. I didn't expect it, like, at all. My oh, really? I love you. Okay. Do you love me? You know that. You ready to go home? Yes. Let's go. Margo all right, was quick. just like, you know how I feel. What are you saying? I mean, like, that was more words than I love you, too. Just for the record, a the therapist did say that I'm not a tool, so did Jordan. We ready to get out of here, baby. Let's go. Maybe Margo should have been with the tools and Mega should have been here. I wish you told her right there. Like, by the way, she said, I'm not a tool, you are. <laughs> you know what's good though, is there is a reunion episode at the end of the season so we can see all these people leaving. I believe if like they're still together, there's that to look forward to. So this isn't goodbye, goodbye. Margo obviously was the tool. I think it's funny. I mean, I'm a real dominant, angry black woman. I'm too smart for this. I was ready to leave. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Too smart for this. I don't think the show is about intelligence, really. And that means, you know, sometimes girls can be schools too. <laughs> All right, cut the cut the video, cut the feed.